What's going on guys? My name is Oreo Token. Today we're going to be talking about the balancing dilemma Bungie's going to have, or is having right now, with their primary weapons. Obviously primaries are not the shutdown, one shot kill like a shotgun or a sniper rifle, but primaries play a very important part of the game and it is really probably the most used gun out there is a primary. Whether it's a hand cannon, a pulse rifle, an auto rifle, you know, Primaries are the main way people fight each other in this game. It's going to be primary fights. Obviously, you have special and there's ways to abuse special, but your primaries are going to be your main way to, to fight people. So let's talk about the primaries and the dilemma that Bungie's going to have with these primaries. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys are aware that 120s are meta right now, 120 hand cannons. And they are meta for a couple of reasons. The first one is because their range is the most competitive range in the game. If you're gonna compare your hand cannons, your auto rifles, your pulse rifles to anything else, the hand cannon has the best range outside of scout rifles. And scout rifles will never be meta because Bungie came out and said they are not going to make a scout rifle meta. I mean, don't 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 talk about Deadman's Tail, that doesn't count. But outside of Deadman's Tail, they're never gonna make a scout rifle meta. Outside of that, they hit the hardest their headshot damage is 90 which is i mean almost the same as some sniper rifles let's be real here and its body damage is 50. so what that says is you can three tap guardians uh two heads one body even in some cases two bodies and a head so keep that in mind some guardians can still take two bodies and a head for 190 damage so you can two tap guardians and then after that they are hand cannons and Bungie talked about how hand cannons have a very generous aim assist when it comes to basically I guess it's called bullet magnetism is what they call it so how far away you can aim from a precision hit and it still be considered a precision hit so not only do you have a really good range you have really good aim assist and aim assist is affected by your range stat which they talked about so the further the larger your range stat the more aim assist you have so not only do you have an extremely far range stat on your 120s i mean we're talking close to 90 to possibly 100 if you have the adept igneous 100 range your aim assist will reach further so you're going to hit more heads without actually hitting heads but you're going to hit more heads from distance and if you miss and hit a body shot it's forgiving you can hit 50 damage and still get a three tap now the perk of running a hand cannon versus let's say an auto rifle or a pulse rifle is the fact that you do all of your damage with one shot and that's kind of a big deal with the pulse rifle you have three rounds or four rounds you have the burst to get all your damage in to be equivalent to let's say a igneous hammer in one shot so you have to be accurate for all four shots and your recoil direction for some guns for let's say a pulse rifle you're not gonna hit all those shots or an auto rifle you have to basically stay on the target's head while they're moving versus a one instance of hitting them in the head so it is a gun where you can basically peek out hit a head go behind cover and re-peek so you can play that from safety unlike a pulse rifle or an auto rifle and because of that hand cannons are inherently stronger than any other primary in the game so for the sake of balance bungie has two approaches they really can take when it comes to to keep it competitive for across all the different weapons the first one is to bring all the primaries up to its level make sure all the primaries are as lethal as the igneous hammer or as the 120 hand cannons and the reason why you'd want to do this is to compete against special weapons where snipers can one shot shotguns can one shot fusion rifles a little harder can one shot though based on how you're playing the game and the idea is it would encourage more folks to run primaries and to go into primary battles because you're going to consistently have a better shot of killing somebody and it does more damage so you're more inclined to actually using your primary that's the first scenario the second scenario is to nerf 120s to reduce it in a sense where it doesn't act as strong as it is right now it makes makes it so that the gun is not as strong if they like where primaries are right now and they think it's good enough to to manage with primary battles and they think they can handle special weapons in a different way this is another way they look at it and so let's 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 kind of attack both of those sides and see what we would have to do for both of those so let's let's first start off with bringing all primaries up to hand cannon level so what we're going to focus on is basically the strongest max range 
weapon type of each weapon. So for instance, the pulse rifles, we're gonna look at our messenger. And then for auto rifles, we'll be doing the same thing. We'll be looking at the false promises. So that being said, let's take a specific look at our messenger. So looking at our current messenger max range roll, we are going to be starting to hit damage fall off right at 40 meters. So that's very close to our 120 hand cans, very, very close. And we're going to be looking at just the base weapons, not the adept ones right now. But this will get you very, very close to uh, the range of your 120 hand cannons. The problem is, like we talked about earlier, is you're going to have to land four bullets, three bullets as a headshot in order to be able to hit all the amount of damage you're going to hit with a 120 hand cannon. So what that says to me for pulse rifle is, is that you need to have better stats on your weapons. You need to have better aim assist, better handling stability. And if you look at the range values, we have lower aim assist and lower range values on our pulse rifles versus our hand cannons. Our aim assist values we're looking at are in the 30s for these high impacts, which I understand high risk, high reward. You can two burst someone to the head, so you want your aim assist to be low. And I get that, but if we're trying to balance out all the weapons here, if you're trying to keep everything at the same level as our Igneous Hammers or Steady Hands, 120 hand cannons, we're gonna need to bump those numbers up a little bit. So let's get let's let's increase our aim assist on our pulse rifles so that it's easier to land headshots on the on the character. Now obviously pulse rifles are oppressive. You have a whole team using them. It, it's I mean, even with the body TTK, it's it's really hard to fight against, but that's the whole point. We want to bring our primaries up to our Aegis level hand, level right here. So with that being said, that's how we would help with our pulse rifles. Let's look at our auto rifles. Now, auto rifles are a tough one. Auto rifles are meant to be support, almost like leaning weapons where if you see an auto rifle being shot down a lane, you shouldn't peek it. Now, if we give a weapon of this caliber deathly damage it's gonna turn into our auto rifle meta which we all loved back when it happened a few seasons ago so auto rifles are also tough because that's not necessarily what you want and there's some good stats on our high impact auto rifles our 360s just they're not extremely forgiving let's talk about that so with the pulse rifle the high impact pulse rifle you you shoot four bullets per burst and they do 22 per body with an auto rifle, it's a little bit slower. You do 22 to the body, but your shots are not fired in a burst like the pulse rifle. So your body shots are not nearly as effective as your headshots. Now, I'm not saying that headshots should not be important in the game. Don't get me wrong, that's a very important stat in the game. But because of how this weapon type works, I think you should almost have a higher body shot damage than we do right now so with 22 damage per body shot for high impacts maybe we consider raising the body shot damage across the board obviously as you go faster with the rate of fire the higher the body shot damage goes but i think you should almost raise the body shot damage but keep the crit where it is keep keep your crit damage roughly the same spot where we are right now that makes the gun more forgiving and because the gun can inherently flinch more because it's hitting a lot of shots i think we need to work into that whole aspect of flinch making so auto rifles flinch targets more than your hand cannons do and obviously we know that flinch kind of takes you off the target and back on the target every other shot and understand that flinch mechanics they are are not necessarily the best but we almost need more flinch with auto rifles to make it so that auto rifles can be more competitive and make it so that folks who are using hand cannons or snipers have to spend their resources into unflinching mods if they're not doing that already while well, they're doing something wrong so that's how i would touch auto rifles looking at the body shots not necessarily touching the criticals and then also increasing flinch all right the second topic we were talking about is bringing 120s down a level and there are a couple ways we can do that First one, let's just decrease the rate of fire back to 110. There's no point of us increasing it to 120. 110 would slow the gun down a little bit more, not by much, but just enough so that it's going to allow 140s 
accurate players with 140s to get closer in engagements and hit three heads much quicker than you can hit two heads in a body or, or charge like two heads. Let's do that. Let's make it one tenth. I think that honestly should be hands down something we do no matter what. Second, let's decrease the max range of our 120 hand cannons. Let's do it so that our range is not 40 meters. It's a hand cannon for goodness sakes. It should be less than that. Our 140s are hitting right about 32 meters. Our 110s, soon to be 110s, I think should max out at 38, 39 meters. Obviously two meters is, you know, not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but with the way maps are sized, it will make engagements from cover have to be more strategic from different map angles and map signs. So if you're on Javelin and you're shooting from C spawn to middle, you almost might need to get closer out of cover to hit your full headshot. That's something that we might want to look into. In addition to that, we might want to bring down the body shot and headshot damage. I still believe that 120 should be able to, when we change the 110s, should be able to two shot kill somebody with precision damage if you're charged light or if you have a kill perk on. I still think that that should be a thing. So obviously a full guardian's health is 200. Let's make it so that when you are charged, it makes your damage hit 100 apiece. Right now it's over 100 with the crit multiplier. Let's make it so it's 100 damage apiece. Then let's make it so that our body damage is brought down as well. Right now it's at 50. What would happen if we made it 45, 43? Let's bring that damage down some. Because if you think about it, you can hit bodies for days at range compared to 140 and still be in a much better place. With the changes that Bungie talked about with aim assist, I almost feel as though hand cannons in general across the board need to have a drop in aim assist because of range, because of how range and aim assist work together. I think it's almost important to do that. And I know that's not gonna be a popular opinion because hand cannons are extremely popular across the board. But if we're trying to bring hand cannons down with having so much range and aim assist tying into that, we need to bring our aim assist down as well. Overall, I like having primary strong. I understand the reason why Bungie likes to have primary strong, but I personally feel as though if we can fix the special ammo economy, where all of your scavengers basically make it so that you don't have to worry about having primary ammo because you can just pick up special all the time. If we can fix that economy, primaries inherently will become wider use across the board because people won't have special to use and it's going to change the engagement that folks have and really that will help with the skill gap it will really show you who's got a good shot and who doesn't and i understand why bungie isn't necessarily a fan of that it's because it's really going to make your average or your your, your folks who just pick up the game once in a blue moon it's you're really going to notice the difference you really really are and they took out skill-based matchmaking and, and right now we have connection base, which I don't think is a problem at all. But you really, really feel it. And the thought of having a one-shot weapon is to balance the scales. But you have to understand, the folks who have good aim are going to have good aim with one-shot weapons. So it's still going to be oppressive no matter what. So with that being said, I'm actually in favor of bringing down 120s so that we bring down the range bring down their aim assist and make it so that their body shots don't do as much and that their headshots don't do as much damage right now because there needs to be risk reward if you're using a, a gun that you can peak shoot and i know not everybody does that but if you're using a gun that can peak shoot i think you need to you don't need to take you don't have to do as much damage in an instance versus a pulse rifle and auto rifle where they need time to do it over time so i think we need to bring those down the, the tune it back in uh, obviously these are my recommendations these are not necessarily you know what you may think or what may be best for the game. These are just things that I have put together that I think would help with balancing the 120 issue right now. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Obviously 120s are oppressive and obviously they're fun to use. I love my 120. I love my Agnes Hammer, my Steady Hand, my Bottom Dollar, my Criminal's Dagger, which I love by the way. I have a range finder, kill clip roll, and I love it. But just because it's the best thing in the game, it's meta, doesn't mean we can't have balance. And if Bungie's trying to strive for balance, let's come up with solutions on how we can do it.
that's my thoughts my name is Rory token thanks for stopping by let me know what you guys think obviously this is a longer video and i want to know what you guys think too it's very different than typical videos of weapon reviews we do so let me know your comments you may completely disagree with me you may completely agree with me and you may be in the middle i would love to hear what you have to say so let's talk about it so my again my name is Rory token have a great day i'll see you guys on the flip side cnd2 bye bye